Hi guys, it's Uptown and I'm back at it again with another wig review. This time I am here to talk to you guys about a website called Best Hair Buy. On besthairbuy.com you can find both wigs and extensions and clip-ons that use both synthetic or human hair. On top of their selection being absolutely humongous, their prices are actually also really affordable. If you want to check out besthairbuy.com, I will leave a link to their website down in the description box below, along with links to their other social media. Best Hair Buy contacted me a little while ago and asked me to review not one, but two of their wigs for you guys. So I was able to go on their website and pick a couple of wigs that I wanted to try out and tell you guys about. So let's get into that. After I selected the wigs that I wanted to try out and Best Hair Buy was able to process my order, their shipping was super fast and they overnighted it to me, um, which was great. When I received my wigs, it came in one of these big standard DHL Express bags. And once you open it up, you have your wigs inside. I've only opened up this bag. I actually have no idea what this looks like on the inside, really. I just wanted to open it and make sure that everything was here before I started filming. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, so usually when wigs companies send you stuff, they'll send it in either one of those like typical clear like wig bags or in a box or something. Best Hair Buy has sent me things in these cute little bags. This is adorable, what? This is precious. So they've given me these really nice little drawstring bags that are adorable. Um, it says best hair buy on them. Treat yourself to beautiful hair. I will best hair buy, thank you. On the front of the bag, it also has their email address and their main website and also their Facebook page. So you have multiple places you can find them if you want to get in touch with them about trying out their stuff. Buying some wigs, looking fabulous. I'll stop now. So the first wig that we're gonna try is this black one that I ordered. I wanted to pick a couple of wigs that I thought were gonna be really versatile that I would most likely be able to find a use for in the future. So I went with some very standard and flexible options so that I can do basically anything to them later on. First wig that I ordered was a long black one. So many characters that you might decide to cosplay later on have black hair, so I figured this was probably a safe choice. <coughs> included in the bag with the wig, they have included a wig cap! This wig cap is black, which will go great with this black wig. Hold on a second. There's two wig caps in here. Let's get this out of here. Would you look at that? <laughs> they actually put two wig caps in here with this one wig. Sweet! Okay, I have all of the wig caps now. Fantastic. Okay, let's get the net. Eh, these have a habit of like sticking to you with static. Get off. Listen, you might love me, but the feelings are not mutual. Please do your job, leave. Get the tissue out. And here we have the wig. Ooh, wow, this is so luxurious. So thick. Oh, that's really nice. So this wig that I chose is indeed another lace front. At the moment it has a center front part, but it looks like if you wanted it to have a different part, you could repart this with a comb or a brush or your fingers and retrain the fibers to go in that new direction. Oh, let me shake this baby out. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at these curls. Wow, this is dreamy. Oh, I feel it. Hey, <laughs> I feel good things inside. That, that came out wrong. So this wig has combs sewn on the inside like many other lace fronts, which are these doodads. 
Looky here. This wig has three of them, two that go on the sides at your temples here and here, and it also has one that goes at the top in the front. I'm a huge fan of the combs that are up here, as opposed to necessarily maybe back here at the nape of the neck or those wigs that just have the two of them. I'm a huge fan of that. It really helps anchor the wig in place and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. It seems pretty easy to comb my fingers through. You could wear this wig just as is out of the bag if you wanted. I mean, it's gorgeous enough. But a lot of people like to break up the, you know, the typical wig curls that they come in to make it look a bit more natural. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Like other wigs, it has these two elastic straps on the inside with the hooks, which you can pull and loop into these little ribbon loops on the inside right here, these ones, to adjust the wig to the size of your own head so that you can wear it more comfortably. I also wanna say that while this is a synthetic wig and it's not made of real hair, it's not super heavy on the shininess factor, Oftentimes when a wig is too shiny, it just makes it look really artificial, which is why a lot of people do the de-shining treatments on wigs, such as soaking it in a mixture of water and fabric softener for a couple weeks or so. This one, I don't think it necessarily needs that. Like, it's shiny, but not ridiculously shiny. Like, you could get away with just wearing this the way it is, and people would still probably be fooled into thinking this was real hair, especially considering the fact that it's a lace front, so your hairline is gonna look excellent. The fibers feel very smooth and very silky, like they're probably not gonna tangle that badly, which is always really nice with long wigs. Also, the color of the lace, I really appreciate. It's not ridiculously pale, but it's not super dark either, so I feel like this particular shade of lace would blend more easily with more different skin tones. So this is more versatile for more kinds of people. Ooh, I'm excited for this. I don't get to wear black hair very often, but I always think it looks really pretty. So I'm excited to get to wear this. I also really love that the lace front um, looks like it comes down nice and far on the sides. So it makes it a lot easier to hide your natural hair at like your sideburns and those wispy hair areas at the side of your temples. Okay, so before I throw my hair up into some wig prep and try this on. Let's take a look at the second wig that I got so that I can try these both on back to back and show you what they both look like in a little while. Now it's time for wig number two. So out comes a second bag that is just as lovely. Okay, so in this bag they included the inventory sort of receipt of what was in my package and what I ordered. And they also included a cute little pamphlet, little handbook thing. Oh, this is adorable. Okay. So they've got their little note to you as the customer, thanking you for working with them and using their service. They have a section here on this page of care instructions showing you how to wash your wig. They have a section for customer feedback. A little form to fill out if you need to return anything and a return policy and yeah this is nice also on the inside of that pamphlet they have a little coupon reminder sort of thing about a sale that they have going on oh that's nice okay so apparently for the whole month of november they have an extra 20 to 25 percent off of stuff so uh should go check that out. More money off. Good stuff. And now for wig number two, we have. Da -da -da -da. Huzzah! Like I said before, I did my best to pick two wigs that were going to be really versatile and potentially useful for a lot of things in the future. So I got a simple black one, which was the one before, and to contrast that, I also got a simple white one. What the? <laughs> there is a wig cap hiding inside the wig. <laughs> I just got another wig cap. Okay, so here, let's shake this bit. Ooh. Look how dreamy this looks. 
just this endless cascade of white. Still, oh, <laughs> it's very long. First thing I'm noticing about this wig is um, the fact that the wefting on the inside is not super visible, which is really nice. A lot of times with white wigs especially, it can be really easy to sort of see the wefting underneath and through the hair, which is a dead giveaway that it's, you know, it's a wig. It's not, it's not real hair. But this one's actually doing really well. It's, it's got enough fibers and it's thick enough to where, you know, you can toss this thing around and you're not gonna really see the wefting super well unless you deliberately like parted the hair in a certain way. This wig is so long. Oh my goodness, I am not used to having hair this long. I used to have hair that went like all the way down, literally to my butt, all the way down. Like I'd kind of have to move it a little bit if I wanted to sit down. It was long. It was like that for too long. Thus, the reason I cut it like all off. <laughs> Same as the other wig, this one has the combs sewn into it in the same places, two at the sides and one in the front. It also has the adjustable straps. And this wig is also another lace front. Again, at the moment, it has a center front part, but you can actually repart this basically anywhere along this lace at the front. So that's nice. The reason I decided this wig was going to be super versatile was because one, it's super long, so I can cut it to basically any length I want, and two, it's pure white, so it'll work for characters with white hair and basically any other color because I can dye this to literally anything. This really is pretty easy to comb my fingers through. It's really not tangling that much. I can feel that after a while, it would probably start to knot up a little bit at the ends, but what long wig doesn't? Let's be honest. So, one, if this was cut a little shorter, of course, it wouldn't tangle as badly. Two, if you put a little bit of vitamin D oil into the ends, that would also really help. I know there's other things you can do to help wigs not tangle as well. Again, same as the other wig, the color of this lace is really nice. It would blend with a lot of people's skin tones, not just me and my ghostliness. So now comes the time to trim the lace off of the lace fronts. Since I'm not going to be ventilating any custom hairlines onto these wigs, this extra lace really doesn't serve me any purpose, so we get to cut it off. I will show you how to do this on the black wig, I think, because I think it will show up a bit more easily and will be easier to see. You want to cut the lace off of this wig as close to the wig's hairline as possible without actually cutting the fibers of the wig. Trimming, trimming, trimming. As you do this more and more, you'll get faster and faster at this too. So it's, it's really not scary. Just go nice and slow for your first few times, and then there's not much to worry about. It's pretty self-explanatory. So as you cut all of this lace, you get a nice lovely hairline like this, and you can see the part that it has right now, right here. So I'm gonna finish cutting off all of this lace off of this wig, as well as the white one, Throw my hair up into some wig prep and then I will come back and show you guys what these look like on and give you some final thoughts. So stay right there and I will be right back. Okay, I am back with some very lazy and sloppy wig prep. And I'm gonna try on the white wig first, I think. I will try out these wig caps that they sent me, but for a white wig, having a black wig cap isn't exactly ideal. So instead, I'm going to use this flesh-colored one that I have lying around that I've been using for literally everything else. Here we go. Right aside. These wigs aren't going to be like sitting on my head for a long time, I don't think. So I'm not super concerned with making sure everything stays rock solid like I would be if I was going to a con, which I'm not yet. So here is the white wig that I'm going to try on first. It's so long. 
I don't know what to do with all this hair. So I'm making my best guess right now as to where I want to put these hooks to adjust this to my head. Yeah, we're gonna call that good. <sighs> okay, here is the white wig. It's very white. <laughs> it is also very long. Like, it's, this is me standing up and it goes to like mid butt, I guess, if that's a measurement. Also keep in mind that when I say mid butt, that's on somebody who that's five foot nine inches tall. I'm very tall and this wig is very long on my very tall body. So if you're at all shorter than me, which there's a fairly good chance that you might be, this is gonna be even longer on you. I like that it's long and that it's white, again, because it makes it super versatile and I can use it for basically anything I need it for. It tangles a little bit, but it's pretty easy to brush out. It has started shedding a little bit, but I think that's a long wig thing. It's just something that a lot of long wigs do. In terms of the hairline, it's pretty nice. It is pretty natural looking. However, the section where the part is, because it's kind of thin, you can see the edge of the wig cap here and the start of my natural hair color, which for the most part isn't something you can really avoid unless you take something and put it underneath the part. Like if you took skin colored fabric, you could glue it under wherever you wanted the part to be. You could just kind of tuck it up there and pin it in place. There are things you could do that would get around that issue if you were really concerned about it. And also if you're like blonde, it's not as big of an issue as it would be for me because I have dark brown hair. In terms of other things about the wig itself, it does feel very comfortable on my head. It's not too heavy because there's not a lot of fibers here that are gonna weigh it down. So like I'm not worried about getting a headache anytime soon, but because there aren't a ton of fibers in this wig, it does also pose a drawback. When I was just holding it in my hands, I wasn't seeing a lot of the wefting, but on my head, since it is being stretched out slightly and the fibers have to sort of disperse around my head, seeing the fibers is a bit easier. For the length and the color and the price of this wig, it's a very good long wig and there's so much length to work with. I mean, just like, look at this, look at this. I have no idea what I'm gonna use this for, but I'm positive that I can think of something. So yeah, because this is a lace front, you could take some of this hair back and pin it and have it still look pretty darn decent. Right now I'm getting like serious Daenerys vibes from Game of Thrones. I don't watch Game of Thrones, I've never even seen one episode, but I've seen enough Daenerys cosplayers and I've seen enough of her on Tumblr to know that this is giving me serious Daenerys vibes. So yeah, I'm gonna take this wig off now and try on the black one next. When I take this off, I'm going to probably loosely braid the hair and then tuck it back in the bag. Braiding long wigs is probably the easiest way to store them so that when you take them out, they're not just like a knotted up chunk of steel wool. Nobody wants to spend the time combing that out. You know, let's get this off, switch wig caps, and go to wig number two. Huh. One of my pin curls came out. Eh. This is what happens when you do sloppy wig prep. You have to do it all over again. Don't be like me, kids. Spend proper time doing your wig prep. Ah. Now that we have tried on the white wig, we're gonna try on the black one next. And for that one, I'm gonna try out one of the wig caps that they sent me, which is black. I love these little like dorky comic instructional things they have going on on how to put on wig caps. <laughs> they crack me up. So now the time has come for this beauty. And here we have the black one. The curls on this are so much fun. It's really curly, but it's not like too curly. It's not like frizzy curly. The combs are doing a really good job of keeping this in place. It's comfortable. It's sitting well on my head. I may have actually put this one a little bit too loose because it's not quite sitting really snugly against 
my forehead where the part is, but I'm okay with it. I know that this wig can be reparted into other places since it shows like a side part on the website. I'm gonna take this wide tooth comb and really gently comb some of these curls out. This wig is doing a really good job of not shedding as well. This wig is also quite long, but definitely not nearly as long as the white one. That would take some doing. Oh, these curls are so much fun. They're so bouncy and luxurious. Oh, look at this. Look how pretty that is. The fibers are definitely a little bit shiny, but again, it's not too bad. You could you could just wear this the way that it is and nobody would really question it. I don't really want to take this one off. I know I said I wasn't really gonna wear these for very long, but uh, I think I just changed my mind. These curls do a really good job of not losing their shape. Even though I combed through them and broke them up a little bit, look how voluminous they still are. One thing I did notice when I was looking at their website was that they didn't always say if their wigs were heat resistant or not. So I don't know if I would recommend taking a flat iron or a curling iron to these wigs. I might test it out by using a blow dryer on very low heat. That way you can at least get a sense about how sensitive these fibers are to heat and if you were to take a more serious styling tool to it, how it would react and if you were going to start ruining it or melting the fibers. It might be because this wig is black and it's a lot harder to sort of see through it, but I feel like these fibers might be a little bit better distributed all the way around, so I don't really feel or see any of the wefting, so it makes the quality of this one really apparent. So yeah, I think that about does it for talking about these wigs. You can find links to these two specific wigs down in the description box below, as well as a link to Best Hair Buys website, their Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. If you're looking for wigs in either synthetic or real human hair, or you're just looking for some extensions, Best Hair Buy might be a really good option. Their prices are very good, and their selection is enormous. So thank you guys once again for watching, and I hope this wig review was helpful to you. I will see you guys next time. Take care! Really though, can we talk about these curls? Gorgeous. I want to play with them all day, which I may end up doing. <laughs>